What's up guys, Chris here. Someone uh, posted a comment on one of my videos and they wanted to know how to install this SAI trigger. So we're gonna use my custom Glock as an example. And uh, I'm not sure what it looked like last time I showed you, but uh, it's pretty much completed by now. I have a couple of small uh, areas to, to uh, fix up regarding the stippling, but anyway. Drop the magazine, I'm going to take out my light just to make it a little easier. And we're going to rack it, pull down on the tabs, pull the slide off, fire the hammer. Uh, next we're going to be removing the hammer housing screw. And next up we'll be pushing out the hammer housing assembly pin with a punch. It should be fairly easy to remove. After that, we're going to pull the trigger and at the same time lift out the trigger housing, or I'm sorry, the hammer housing. And once you get to this point, you'll simply rotate the gun and the trigger bar off. And just to make sure you don't lose the spring, go ahead and take out the valve reset knocker and put this to the side. So unfortunately, to get the trigger out, we're going to have to remove the inner frame as well, which pretty much strips the entire pistol. So we're going to remove the slide lock lever next, take a punch, push down on the little spring in here, and slide lock lever should come out. like so. Uh, next we need to unscrew the uh, <clears throat> inner frame screw. Next up we're going to uh, be pushing out the uh, ha uh, trigger pin which is from left side to right side. I, <clears throat> I just like to put it on a roll of tape to make it easier. Take your punch and this should be doable with hand force. If not, if it's the first time you do it, you might need to use a hammer, but it will come out. Here you can see the, <clears throat> the knurled edge that's on the right hand side. And at this stage, you'll be able to simply lift the inner frame out. And the make note that the trigger bar spring might come off here. So lift it out like so. Yep, yeah, trigger bar and trigger spring came loose. This is your inner frame. You don't need to do anything more with this. You can also see that the uh, slide lock lever or slide release, no, I'm sorry, the slide catch and slide release came off. And we have our trigger bar spring. And we have the pretty much empty. Uh, frame as well. I've uh, replaced, uh, if you have the original, there might be a serial number plate in here that you have to uh, take care of. But basically what you're left with is the trigger bar and the trigger itself. So the top pin here, now let, let's pretend that <clears throat> for the sake of this video that this is a a uh, what's it called an original Glock trigger right so the top pin is what's holding the trigger bar in place and the bottom pin is holding the trigger safety in place so let's get a smaller roll of tape and we're simply going to push out the top pin Put that to the side for now, and the trigger bar is going to come off. And then you need to also punch out the bottom pin. So basically, uh, this is what the, the trigger assembly looks like when you get it. You'll have the 
trigger itself, trigger safety, and trigger safety spring. So the safety spring goes in like this, in the safety itself. Then you can sort of pinch it with your thumb and index finger. And we're going to be sliding it into the trigger itself. And the spring will be resting in here on this back edge. So let's see if we can do this. And you should be able to see that the holes line up. And we're going to want to take our, <coughs> our pin and put it into the bottom hole while trying to keep the while trying to keep the um, safety in place. At this point, you might have to wiggle it around a little bit, but it should slide in like this. And just <clears throat> finish it off by uh, pushing the pin in all the way. So there you can see the spring mechanism. Next up, we want to put in the trigger bar and it goes in like this okay and it's going to go into the upper hole so let's see if we can uh, line it up in here thereabouts not really rocket science here you just need to make sure that the uh, holds line up and then put the pin in place. So let's see if I can do this here. Take your pin. I like to, the pins are knurled on one end and I like to, to keep things consistent with the, the actual pistol. I like to keep the knurling on the um, right hand side. So there you go, there's the trigger safety, two pins, and the trigger bar is installed. So to get this all back together, let's see if we can get all the parts in here. Uh, we're going to start by dropping in the hammer, or I'm sorry, the trigger, into the frame. And that's because the um, inner frame doesn't, or I'm sorry, the, the trigger doesn't go in if the inner frame is already in place. So take note of this um, spring in here because if you try to install it upright, that spring is going to fall down. So you need to do it sideways to keep that spring in place. And again, you might have to wiggle it around a little bit to get it in place. That's what it looks like. Next, we are going to be hooking on the trigger bar spring. And of course, it goes onto the, uh, <clears throat> the trigger bar first. And you need to take note here. Let's see if we can get a shot of this. One of the loops, they're a 90 degree offset from each other. So the loop going to the pin post and the inner frame needs to be facing that way and flush side towards you, so to speak. So simply hook that on. Then we are gently going to lift up the inner frame until we see the post right there. Hook the spring on and push the inner frame back down. And at this point, you can uh, secure the inner frame with the screw just to make sure it uh, doesn't get loose. All right, next up, we're going to be putting in the slide catch and slide release. No, we're not, I'm sorry. We're gonna put in the slide lock lever at this point. And this goes in in a specific direction. You can see that 
it's slightly slanted here at the front. So that piece, the slanted edge, goes towards the front of the gun. So get it started, and when you hit the spring, come in with your punch, push the spring down, and slide the slide lock, slide lock lever into place. Uh, let's see, what do we have left? <clears throat> We're going to um, put in the trigger pin, preliminary, preliminarily, <laughs> whatever. Uh, so just try to line up the holes. And what you need to do is, if you look in here, don't think, yeah, I can't get any light in there, but we need to make sure that there's a space space in here for the slide lock or uh, yeah slide catch and slide release to go in so I'm gonna back that pin out just a little bit there we go we've cleared a space right in uh, in here so at this point we're going to take the <coughs> slide catch slide release and the spring uh, this is an aftermarket garter piece but the spring hooks in like this at the bottom and it needs to be looped around the edge of the slide catch so it doesn't get pinched when we install it. So we're going to be dropping this in like so and trying to get it aligned and simply push the trigger pin through I want to get the hammer pin flush with the body next up you're going to take your hammer chassis assembly take the valve reset knocker slide it in like this put hold your thumb over it pull the trigger all the way back to get the uh, trigger bar up, flip it over, hook the trigger bar into the housing, rotate it downwards, and set it in place in the frame. And we'll put in our hammer housing pin. And the last step is to put in the hammer housing screw here at the back. And of course, the final step would be cock the hammer back, push the two tabs down, put your slide on the rails, and there you have it. Alright, so that's how you install the uh, Ace One Arms SAI trigger in the clock. See you guys uh, in the next video.